Hi, I'm Blake from BAA Electronics, and, well, right now, I have a lot of important documents on my MacBook Pro, so I also I'll need a backup. Right now, I'm backing up my MacBook Pro and my iMac with this Seagate Backup Plus Slim Drive. I love it, but I didn't use this forever. My previous backup drive was this iOmega One 500 gigabyte hard drive. One, it wasn't big enough. Two, well, it ain't working. When I plug it in to the power connector, nothing happens. But when I plug it into the USB connector, however, the drive does seem to power on, but nothing seems to spin. So, I've been uh, reading some forums and looking, watching some videos, and um, this is not the first time I have attempted to do this with a hard drive before. I've actually done this with this Seagate free agent drive that was previously not spinning, and it actually brought it back to life for a few minutes. Now, I have a way to refine that and try to save some data that I have on this little drive here. So, let me as we trying to recover this thing <laughs> in like a way that you never thought you could ever do to one of these things. So, we'll see if it does anything to it. Okay, so the first step in recovering one of these drives is to take the screw out of the faceplate or any other part of the drive and pull the actual drive assembly out of the bay. Next, detach the hard drive from its controller. This is the bare drive, and you can save the controller for later, because we're going to need it after our recovery process. So now, let's move on to the bare drive. Grab a few freezer bags, preferably one small and one a little bit larger. First, put the bare drive into the smaller bag and then vacuum seal it using either your mouth or by securely closing it up and then dipping it under water to seal out all the air from inside of it. Just make sure there's no air inside of it. Do the same for the larger one. Just put the smaller one with the drive into the bigger one and also make sure there's no air in that one. Now you can roll it up and put it in your freezer. Now, it has to be below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. And this one has come out about 5 hours later. And so, we're going to take the drive out of the bags. Now, I'm not taking it completely out of the bags because I want to try and keep this drive running for as long as it can. Next, plug the controller into the drive and power on the drive. Now, as you can see, I've connected it to my computer and the drive is working perfectly. All these photos are showing up correctly and nothing is corrupted. Just note, this process is not permanent. Well, as you saw, it did fix that drive for, well, a little bit. But even though it only lasts a little bit, you can still do this over and over. Just make sure not to uh, try and power this on after it does the eject because that means that it just fails again. So not really a, a permanent fix, but definitely quick enough or like long enough to get some of the data off of it. So just keep doing this until you get your data and then I would recommend never using this drive again. So I guess I'm just gonna stick with the uh, Backup Plus and my nice big SSD. So, see you on the next video.
Bye.